Orange started its SDN and NFV journey using many open source projects and the first VNFs are already deployed through various affiliates. Jahan, what lessons did Orange learn when it first deployed VNFs? First, and maybe it's the most important, uh, we should say that our customers, the big uh, multinationals, because you know we, we launched a service for big multinationals, uh, are quite fond of this type of offers, and uh, so we have very good feedback from them. Uh, because the promise of flexibility is very well assured. And so with references such as Siemens, for example, uh, really we can be proud of our, our service. Uh, but nevertheless, <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, we have also some uh, uh, less uh, positive feedbacks from the first implementation, and especially in Spain, and here it's more uh, uh, general uh, network uh, VNF, uh, we have some uh, issues that we may raise, uh, meaning we do not really achieve these promises and especially the agility promise. I will quote an example. Uh, to integrate the VNF on the infrastructure, what we call also to onboard. We need uh, almost nine months or even more than nine months, which is obviously uh, not the agility uh, we expect and all this uh, uh, improved TTM uh, we, we race for. So Based on this experience, and you, you've talked about one or two of the issues there, and this long time to, to nine, nine month um, period is, is, is far too long at the moment. How, how can open source projects help um, and, and, and alleviate pain points such as that? Yeah, so th that's why we really bet also on the open source, um, because it's a way first to be an actor really in this uh, advance, not only using the open source, but really contributing to build it as is needed for, from a CSP sp standpoint. And secondly, because it's a way also to standardize and to get to a level of automation that really we need. And uh, I will quote for that especially the OPNFV uh, project because the OPNFV project is really focused on this question of automating um, the infrastructure, automating the installation and the testing of this infrastructure and the onboarding on the VNFs. And I think it's really a good lever uh, to, to, to reach this agility we need. And you're also a, a big supporter of, of ONAP. How does, how does ONAP play and contribute? ONAP is also a very important uh, brick, let's say, uh, as for the automation. And with this question of onboarding the VNFs, it will play a, a significant role and also managing the design of new services by combining few VNFs between themselves, what we call the chaining. So we really also from the marketing standpoint count on this, uh, on this own app as well as from the operation standpoint because it's the way to automate a lot of uh, a lot of daily operations. But what I want to quote here is that ONAP needs to be focused on these daily concerns of uh, operations uh, first. I mean, uh, before um, having a, a, a very far and uh, idealistic scope Let's focus on, uh, on concrete and uh, real life concerns. We talk a lot about the ecosystem, uh, especially with open source projects, the, 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 the breadth of companies and, and players involved. Um, 
are we there or is there room for improvement are, are there still missing elements missing actors that, that, that need to be to be put in place do, do we have all the right components to take this forward as we want to that's funny because this time I, I think we have uh, maybe two missing points one is that uh, probably we are not at the state of the art in terms of marketplace. I mean, we should try to achieve this level of, uh, of uh, separation, of, of dynamics, uh, as uh, we could have with a VNF marketplace. Uh, and secondly, I think we miss uh, also as an ecosystem maybe some IT players especially the ones that could position themselves as editors of big uh, solutions we count on. And once again, I come to ONAP. I think uh, from the many company standpoints, many of our affiliates uh, in Orange, uh, we need this industrial support. We need uh, editors uh, for ONAP and probably it's a, a room for improvement. Final question. O open means more than open source. In this industry, we're talking about this, this mindset, open mindset, em embracing open ideas. Um, as we move from communication service providers through digital to being this, the open service provider, what about Orange? Do you think Orange, as, 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 a, as a telco, fully embraces this, this open mindset and, and is indeed an open telco? Yes, we want to be an open telco, definitely. We want to be a software telco. Uh, so it's really part of our strategy. And uh, that's why we invest a lot in the open source community. Once again, not only as users, but as contributors, as key actors. Uh, as you know, we have uh, huge contributions in OPNFV and on app. Uh, and so the, that's the proof, let's say. Nevertheless, I must admit that it's not homogeneous uh, in Orange, you know, that we have uh, almost 30 countries, so it's very diverse uh, with maturities that are not the, the same level in all countries. Uh, and so that's why it's also very important that these communities are working on the maturity of their solutions, are working on the usability of their solutions. And that's the case of ONAP that I want to praise here for that uh, concern, for that uh, endorsement. Uh, because our affiliates, I mean uh, some operational people, they, they have this uh, fear that open source is not as robust as could be an industrial solution, which obviously is not the case. Uh, and so we need also, as open source uh, contributors, as open source community, we need really to stress this point um, so we can safely and in good uh, confidence deploy solutions in, such as on app. Great. Johan, as always, thank you very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you very much, Guy. See you soon.